Good afternoon, oil traders. It is Sunday, 3.23 p.m. Eastern Time. We're two and a half or so hours away from the Asian markets open. And I thought we'd do a review of the past week, September 11th through the 15th, which for me was frustrating. Um, frustrating not because I didn't make money. Well, I suppose I did lose money, but uh, um, on the balance sheet, basically, I still have a profit um, realized and an unrealized loss. Um, but it was frustrating because of basically it uh, did what I didn't expect, uh, which was to keep going up. Uh, we made it past 50 and it almost looked like we were going to break 50 and a half, uh, but that proved to be our ceiling, at least for now. Um, on uh, September, basically starting out in the week, um, I sold two longs that I had bought on Friday previous. And I sold one on the Monday, one on the Tuesday, and uh, uh, was it? Yeah. So basically, if we take a look at my results page here on TradingJournal.ca, um, you can see here that I sold from the eighth, I sold on the eleventh, and then the other one from the eighth, I sold on the twelfth. So yeah, so Monday and Tuesday, um, and uh, they were very small profits. They were small positions. Um, one was. Uh, not too bad, two point, almost 2.7%, the other one was just 0.7% um, for a uh, total profit take of $466 for the week, um, which a, a profit is a profit, so I'm not complaining. Um, but what sucked was basically getting out of the long positions, especially that second long position, which I got out on Tuesday, right before kind of the main climb started. Um, so, you know, taking that um, profit at basically a little better than break even um, kind of stung and uh, of course it's true to my strategy I started buying shorts along the way so if we take a look at my portfolio page on tradingjournal.ca you can see that over the past week I purchased short on the 11th the 13th twice and on the 14th um, which was a Thursday on Friday there was basically no movement so I didn't do anything. Um, so I bought at a crude price of $47.75 um, on the Monday um, and then on the 13th which, which was uh, Newsday, the uh, 13th Wednesday uh, was $48.75 crude price and $49.39. Uh, um, then finally on Thursday when we touched over $50 I bought at $50.02 and uh, ultimately, as you know, we hit a high of 50.49, um, which of course I missed and chose not to short there, um, which is of course, uh, again, a mistake, um, adding to the frustration of the week. Um, I am still, of course, holding my long from $52. Uh, so, you know, the higher we go, the more likely it is that I'm able to get out of that with either a break even, a small profit, maybe a small loss, but uh, at least it, it creates options for me as we do go up. Um, and I'm just being a little bit more cautious in my short purchases as we do go up, uh, considering that, you know, we might be up for a while and I don't want to kind of sink all my capital um, at the wrong price points. Uh, I think that being all said, we are due for a healthy pullback. Um, I'm not saying that we're not going higher, we're not going to break through 50-50. Hey, what do I know? But uh, if we do go higher, I think we should see um, a pullback of, I don't know, 49 at least, uh, if not to 48. Uh, before we climb higher, uh, simply people taking profits and uh, and the such. So it's at that point where I should be able to have, you know, get the opportunity to exit some of these short positions, um, take a bit of profit, reposition the shorts as we go back up, if that is the case. Um, but that's, that's my gut. What do you guys think? Um, let me know in the comments down below on YouTube or over on tradingjournal.ca where you can find more information on my portfolio, trades, performance, etc. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe to stay tuned, and I'll check back with you guys ahead of trading tomorrow morning, Monday, um, at or before 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Until then, good luck. Cheers.